What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So today we're going to talk about shoes. Selling used shoes, many people won't think it'd be possible, but it's a big market. You can find them in all your thrift stores and uh, they sell for good money. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and give you 15 shoes that recently sold for me on eBay and Poshmark. Pop them up on the screen. I will tell you what I paid for them, how long they took to sell, what they sold for, and my approximate net profit. Now my buy cost in my area is kind of high, typically from eight to $15 at Goodwill. So a lot of people I know on YouTube get shoes for cheaper. So these numbers, what you want to focus on is what they're selling for. Not what I'm buying them for, because like I said, yours could be different. Not what my profit is, but what they're selling for, what brands, and um, maybe you'll see them and you'll start selling them if you don't. Or if you do, maybe you'll learn a brand that you never saw before. All right, so first pair, we're going to start with some running shoes. This is a brand, it's called New Balance. Decent brand. These were all-terrain running shoes. Pick these up for $8.00. They took two weeks to sell, so for $38.75 plus $8 shipping, and then they're approximately $24. Now, some shoes, typically like men's, you could possibly get like a size 9 and definitely below. And then a lot of the women's, you can just get into a padded flat rate envelope. Um, sneakers aren't going to get damaged. I always put them into like a clear suffocation poly bag first and then into the um, flat rate. It's your cheapest way. If they're larger shoes, then I got to go into a USPS shoe box. So I can pair up. Let's look at some Nikes. Everybody knows that brand. This is called Legend React. They're women's running shoes. Pick these up for $10. Like I said, my costs are kind of high. At Goodwill. Took one week to sell. So for $41.75 plus $8 shipping. And I netted approximately $25. Okay, here's another Nike. This was a Training Flex TR5s. Picked these up for $8. They took about one month to sell. So for $24.75 plus $8 shipping, and I netted roughly $12. All right, let's look at some ASICs. Another great running brand. These were called the Gel Santa. They're running shoes for women. I have two pairs. This one is in black. Took about five weeks to sell. Sold on Poshmark for $25 and I netted $14. Another pair, same style, just in a different color. And these sold on eBay, sold about a week after that, so almost six weeks to sell, for $24.75 plus $8 shipping and I netted $14 as well. And both of these I paid $6 for. And here's another pair of A6. These are Gel Resolution. These were men's tennis shoes. Paid... $10 for them, and they took one week to sell. So for $31.75 plus $10 shipping, and I netted roughly $16. And here's a great brand that always sells pretty quick, and for a decent money, Brooks. This first one up is a Brooks Pure Flow 5. They were men's running shoes in like a yellow and gray, size 11. Picked these up for $8. They took about one month to sell. So for $25 plus $10 shipping, and I netted about 12 bucks. Here's another pair of Brooks. These are called Pure Flow 7. These were women's running shoes. Took three weeks to sell. I paid $10 for these. Took an offer on Poshmark of $25, and I netted only $10. All right, here's a pair of Adidas slip-ons, like basketball shoes. Sold in one week. I paid $8 for them. Took an offer on Poshmark for $25 and netted at roughly $12. Okay, now let's look at some unique brands. Some of these I had never seen before, but um, they end up selling. So this first one up, it almost looks like a, like a boat shoe type of preppy shoe. The brand is called Greats Brooklyn. It was very heavy for what it is, and it's a leather shoe. I found these at Goodwill. They were $15, so it was a lot. When I comped them, I saw they were selling for good, so I had no problem paying $15. They sold in three weeks. I took an offer on Poshmark for $45, and after everything, I netted $21. Here's a brand called Extra Tough. 
They're like waterproof deck slash boat shoes. Paid eight dollars for these at Goodwill. Took one week to sell. So for thirty-one dollars plus nine shipping, and then roughly sixteen dollars. And these I had accepted an offer on. I think I had to list them for like thirty-five or so. And this is the second pair I had found and sold of these within like a month's time. Okay, here's another good brand called Sanook. Kind of like a canvas shoe. And um, and I paid eight dollars for these. They took two weeks to sell, so for $22.75 plus $8 shipping, and I netted $10. Okay, here's a pair of military boots. The brand is called Altima. These were brand new. I found them at a local thrift store. I paid up for these. I paid $20. They sold within one week, and they sold for $58.75 plus free shipping. Now, I did free shipping on these because all the comps for this boot at free as well. Uh, after everything, I needed twenty dollars. Okay, here's a pair of men's slip-on leather shoes. The brand is called Piccolinos. This was called the Puerto Rico slip-on loafer driving shoe. I paid ten dollars for these at Goodwill. They sold in three weeks. They sold for twenty-eight dollars plus twelve dollars shipping. I netted roughly fourteen dollars. And lastly, for this one. Is a pair of Adidas Add a Zero Add Emoji football cleats. And they're called Add Emoji because the, the little printing along the shoe were like all little different emojis. And I paid zero for these. I got these from my source for free. They sold within one week, $49.75 plus 10 shipping, and I netted roughly $41. All right, so that was 15 pairs. My buy cost for these 15 pairs was $135. So a very high buy cost for me when it comes to shoes. After fees and after recouping my buy cost, I came away with a net of $261. So I got my money back plus $261. And if you divide it by 15 pairs, that comes out to a profit of $17.40 per pair. So that's gonna wrap this one up. Hopefully you learned a brand that you never saw or knew about or maybe you have seen it and you didn't pick it up because you didn't think it would sell. So next up in the rotation of what solds next week will be hard goods. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you later. Goodbye.